And we're talking, we're back for RWA with a mixed tag team action. And we're bringing back BMT and Ariel. BMT has 17 years under his belt. Ariel 22, along with tours in Japan and Mexico. And you know what? They made their return last summer. And they're trying to pick off where they let off, taking all over New England. And tonight they make their return for RWA. That's New England's power couple right there. And if you follow them around New England, they live up to that moniker. And they've been collecting championships in New England left and right. Who knows? Could this maybe be a future RWA champion down the line or champions? Anything is possible. Anything, really, yeah. it's whatever. They are perfectly capable. And they're, as it is, already collecting gold around the area. But they do have their work cut out for them tonight. Now at RWA Cash was King, we saw Nick Diamond team off with Little Mean Kathleen and Teddy Goods, and they took on BMT Ariel and L Valentine, and Nick Diamond was able to get the pin and get the first win for him in RWA, and now he's aligned himself with Big Juicy. I'm looking forward to this one. I believe they've had some matches under their belt in other areas. Not the first time team together. I'm not gonna pretend that I've seen those matches, but they may have a bit of chemistry themselves and uh, pr provide quite the opposition for the power couple of New England. And be it Big Juicy, it's been a few months since we saw an RWA. I believe the last time was the Renegade Rumble. That is correct. But now a team with Nick Diamond to take on New England's power couple. This should be a good one. Do you follow BMT on social media? I do. Hilarious. Oh yeah. And it becomes quite evident who wears the pants. <laughs> he does, he does, but she tells him which ones. And that's fine. I'm in a similar situation myself. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Now they're doing a lot of talk. The question is who's gonna start off the match for them right now? Well, it looks like Nick Diamond and BMT. You know, you do that. You do that well. Thank you very much. And you think, Ringing the bell is not such a big deal, not very hard. But would you believe the monsters that screw it up? Not banging on the top of it. And you see Nick Diamond talking right now with BMT. He doesn't look like he wants to fight with Nick Diamond right now after how it left off in RWA last time. But Nick Diamond's ready for a fight right now. He's got to be cautious because, he, like you said, he knows how it played out last time. But it also, he's a wily veteran. It could be a bit of mind games. You never know. You know, I was talking to Nick Diamond earlier about this match. He says he's usually not seen in tag team matches. He's recently gotten cap captured tag team gold in other promotions. But team with Big Juicy, this could be a good one right now. Maybe it could be the start of something big. Let's see what you did there. And you see right there, BMT just trying to taunt Nick Diamond. Taunt him, play mind games, try to get him to make a mistake so he can gain an early advantage. And you know what? I'm looking forward to this pairing of Nick Diamond and Big Juicy. BMT and Ariel do a lot of talk, but they back it up. And it's very rare, especially recently, that we haven't seen people that have stepped up and have shut them up. Could this be its pairing that does? It very well could, my friend. It very well could. Uh, it's just a wait and see, I guess. I, you know, how else can I put it? Right, right now, it looks like very possible. I'm a big fan of this pairing. Clearly, since they've uh, tagged together before, other people saw what I saw, and I'm excited to see what comes of it. Will we see a clean break, however? Looks like we... Oh, I knew something was coming. You didn't know. I've seen how BMT you acts in matches. Know. Trying to take advantage of Nick Diamond, but oh! Taking BMT right now, putting his money where his mouth is. Oh, Nick Diamond standing tall. Does that count as a tag? I mean, I don't know. That, now they've made a tag. And Big Juicy coming in with the Portuguese 
Powerhouse. Powerhouse. Ariel. Oh, well, we mentioned it before about Nick Diamond. He wants to fight. Big Juicy coming in strong. She wants to fight right now. Taking it to Ariel. Oh, slams her down with authority. Ariel was not expecting that. Oh. Uh, I don't know. She's over in the corner regrouping. So I, I guess it's not a tag. They're pathetically cute, and I'm all about it. Uh, BMT trying to get another piece of Big Juicy now. Oh, big backdrop. Big Juicy taking both of the New England power couple down right now. And here comes Nick Diamond. Now, I'm a big fan of this Nick Diamond. I'm going to go on the record and say it. You know, he, he made a great impression on me back at the Renegade Rumble. Let the power couple get the best of him here, but I'm, I'm behind him. I, I can tell you firsthand, you're going to see a lot of Nick Diamond here in the RWA in the future. I completely agree with you. Nick Diamond, I've seen recently, he's trying to make a name for himself all over New England, doing the drives and everything. And we saw it in his big debut. We got a win over the New England power couple. Maybe another one over them. That could be huge for him. Absolutely. Could be a contender for the Ocean State Championship next month. And so could somebody like BMT, too. Absolutely. Here comes Ariel. Heavy kicks in the corner, laying them in. You know, when I saw them make their return, I guess, last summer, I wasn't really familiar with BMT and Ariel, but I've done my homework, and they have done a lot because of stuff. Because you were like six when they first came around. That's true, but I've done my homework, and they've proved themselves. They are definitely picking up where they left off, and they're taking all over New England. BMT recently captured World Championships, Area Women's Championships. Before you know it, we could see contenders, like you said, for an Ocean State champion or a tag or even the world. It's not the world championship. We don't travel around oh, the world. Sorry. The RWA championship. There you go. There you go. Stick with me, kid. I'll teach you everything. Thanks, T. And you see Big Juicy trying to get in the ring right now, but she's getting fired up. We usually see her come out with the juice or fuel, but I don't know, know if we saw that when she came out. I, you know what? I didn't notice it. Maybe uh, it's on back order? Maybe. Maybe she's smuggling it somewhere. Could be under the ring. You know how people hide stuff under the ring. That's true. Nick Diamond here. We, we talked about the fight he has. Wow. Big time head scissor by Nick Diamond. Taking BMT right down. Take, oh. Double clothesline. They're both down. And they're both knocked out right now. Nick Diamond, he's barely moving right now. Same with BMT. Maybe I think they're going to want to get that tag. I think Ariel's shouting some words of encouragement to her hubby. Referee Tyler Calloway up to a two count right now. Juicy egging her partner on. Oh, not going to make it in time. There it is. Here comes Big Juicy. Taking down Ariel, and there's another one. Oh my goodness. Right on the steps, that's probably kind of sharp. And you see, it's like Big Juicy had some of her juice. She is fired up right now, going for her signature, the juice bomb. Oh, this could it. do it. Watch out for BMT. Oh, exactly what you just said, T. Watch out for him. Just in time and breaking up the pin and Dick Diamond right on BMT now. The legal competitors are Ariel and Juicy. Let's not lose track of that. Referee Tyler Calloway kind of losing control on this one. And as BMT says, oh, a spear right there. BMT hit his bad mother cutter, it's called. That's a bad mother cutter? Okay. And now Big Juicy taking BMT right down. With that spear, she turned him in half. You see, yep, right to the floor. But Ariel, oh. she got the tights. Oh. By hook or by crook. And you know what? They've been making the towns. 
but they haven't done it the right way. They've been causing shenanigans left and right, and we saw it tonight, T. Phoenix. You know, Coach C, believe it or not, I haven't always played by the rules, and there was a very wise man named Bobby the Brain Heenan. He always said, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. And that's what happened here today. Uh, you may not agree with it, but it gets the job done. But you, know, you said it too. We have to give credit. Nick Diamond and Big Juicy, a very impressive showing tonight. And unfortunately, the match didn't go how they wanted to, but I give them credit for putting up the fight. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, she dropped them. Oh, my goodness. Well, they're going to have to talk about that later here tonight. Juicy and Diamond to the outside. Uh, what is going on here? Oh, they're going to take him to the back. Oh, they go. Don't break any furniture. Do we have cameras back there, T? Not at the moment, no. That would be intrusive to people's privacy. That's true. And let's give it back to Adam Souser. We'll be giving back to him. The floor. Not on the floor. He's on the apron. <laughs> 